What is up, Coffee Nation? We got a super special episode today. Uh, our, I guess, special coffee tasting. What it is, I am holding in my hand, is a McCafe. A large McCafe. And it costs basically a dollar for any size of McCafe. Um, it's pretty standard among the McDonald's locations. Very hot most times. A lot of times they really have no issue in making a fresh pot for you. And aside from that, you know, coffee's fun. Coffee makes me happy. You know, I love getting a coffee once I go to McDonald's. Only costs a buck. That's not horrible. You know, when your average cup of coffee costs two dollars. And overall, McCafe is probably my top three for good fast food coffee. Alright, but that brings it to the episode. What is the episode? Well, essentially, it is fast food coffee rated best to worst. Now, everybody knows about McCafe, but there are a lot of coffee outliers out there. And I plan to go to all of them over the course of the week and, you know, take the bus there because I don't drive. I usually just walk or bus, but, uh, yeah, and taste them and rate them and then see which is the best out of there. Now, I say McCafe, though, you know, up front because I was obviously getting a McCafe. Another little perk of it, um, if you have the app, you know, the McDonald's app, which if you eat McDonald's, there's no reason not to have the app on your phone because it's like, it's coupons, but it's not just coupons. They're like good fast food coupons. You know, with the recent, like, price of McDonald's, uh, you know, it, it's worth having the app, but it can always sense, if you use the app, you buy coffee, okay, every five cups of coffee you get a free one, so they're doing the cafe shop punch card thing, and that's exclusively through the app, so, I didn't even pay for this one, I just bought something and got my free coffee with it. And it works for, like, big coffees, too. So you could get, like, the McCappuccino, the McFrappe, or any of the other things they are doing to compete with Starbucks, which is not going to be on the fast food coffee list. Because I don't really like Starbucks. I mean, I know a lot of people do. Um, but if you've had their coffee... It's like three dollar coffee, and then three dollars for three fifty for like a hot cup of coffee, like a medium coffee, and then it's uh, you know, super expensive, or it's not that good. It's usually burnt. They usually got like that cafeteria style coffee uh, thing with a little spout, you know, for the two different kinds of roasts. So. I've just never been blown away by the quality of Starbucks coffee at the shop. Um, you know, that being said, the people who, you know, worship Starbucks aren't really going there for their hot black coffee. They're going there for their, uh, you know, their coffee shakes, their uh, frappes, they're like 1,000 calories, $7, uh, you know, smothered in whipped cream coffees, which... You know, it's cool if you like that or whatever, but I'm not a big milkshake person. I'm not a big uh, sweets guy. Every time I've gotten a shake in my life, I've taken like two sips, and then I've been like, oh, God, you know, I can't finish it. And then I'm just stuck with this melting, like, cup of sugar, so... Uh, okay, so that's a bit off topic here. So, uh, let's see... Mick Cafe, I'm gonna go to Jack in the Box, Burger King, Wendy's, In N Out. Uh, I think Sonic might have coffee. I don't know if it's a breakfast thing. 7 Eleven, Circle K, and probably Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know if the Lobby to Krispy Kreme is open yet. I think they're still only drive through because I don't want a bunch of homeless people hanging out there. But, uh, 
who those are the only people who go to Krispy Kreme. Though my memories of Krispy Kreme coffee, though, is it's just high, like, you know, and the Quakers, the nuts, so it's a very nutty coffee. It's not bad, actually. It's just a little pricey for donut shop coffee. Alright, but this is the fast food coffee special.